Uh, this next uh, you, this next man has more hate in his heart than Dan Soder has voices in his act. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Anthony Cumia. Anthony Cumia. Let him... Oh my God, that was good. What was that guy's name? That was uh, that was great. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, a lot of white people, uh, a lot of white people here today, right? Looks like, uh, looks like in uh, 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 one of those uh, Black Lives Matter protests. <laughs> They're all fucking white. This room's very diverse. It looks like the 50s space program. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, uh, Sal and Practical Jokers. Great, uh, great show. So original, said Alan Funt in 1965. <laughs> That's a good one right there. And Voss, so glad Voss is here tonight. Uh, Opie let you out? Is that what happened? You're ready to write that apology? I mean, for the people here. It's uh, great. Yeah, uh, let me tell you, congrats. Congrats on the uh, Triple Crown uh, win. That was really good. It's the only, the only way Bonnie gets her pussy eaten is if she puts two sugar cubes and an apple in it. Remember, Bonnie, hold that twat flat. Don't let him, don't let him bite. Uh, Rich, Rich loves golf. We all know Rich loves golf. It's the only time Bonnie lets him leave the house with his balls. And, it's, uh, and of course, Dan Soder's here tonight. I love this. Dan, you want to just take my seat here, too? Is that, uh, it's not very far. It's easy to do. I don't know. You're great on O and J. You're fantastic. You you could almost fake laugh as much as I did. It's uh, it's hilarious. You jumped you jumped right in there. You're taking the food right out of my children's mouth, and now I gotta fuck them hungry. It's uh, oh. you are literally to O and J what charade is to O and J. Or Voss, or Bobby, or DiPaolo, or anyone else that could filter between those two. See, get it? Because you're like an enigma machine between Opie and Jimmy. They can't communicate, get it? What's the matter, too real? <laughs> Holy shit. All right, whatever. And of course, uh, Harris, great to uh, see you here. He shook the hand of my producer, Keith the Cop, and said, Don't touch me! Um, yes, I have an afro, but I am the only legal gun owner with one. Uh, I love Ari. Ari always, oh, you got a little Rogan right here. Wipe, wipe that off. Ding dong. I saw Ding dong over here from Legion of Skanks. Uh, it's great, Ding dong. How were you in every fucking car I passed in Queens? And uh, Metzger, where, where did he go? He fucking left. Race Wars on Sirius XM on the uh, Opie channel. You know, if a podcast is broadcast in the woods and no one hears it, is it truly... Uh, you know what? And, uh, of course, uh, by the way, uh, at least if I want an open relationship, I could just go to junior high schools, uh, Kurt. <laughs> And, and my girl can just search the sex offender list. Metzger was giving me a little shit on that, but I guess he fucking bolted out of here. The only wise man in the whole group. Uh, Gomez, where are you? There you are. First time uh, Gomez came to my house to do the show, he instinctively spray-painted my camera lenses. <laughs> it was... Uh, he, <laughs> he, made, he made up for it, though, because he, he went right out and uh, cleaned my pool. Which it needed, because the Legion of Sa uh, Skanks swam in my pool. I was washing uh, oil off the local birds for uh, a month after they uh, did that. The Legion of Skanks, and then their audience. They bring an audience with them to my house, and uh, they swim in my pool. My pool filter got pregnant. But it, uh, it was, uh, Gomez dug it out with a hanger. Thank you. Thanks so much, Louie. Dave, of course, I love Dave. He, he's great. He's the, what they consider, I think, from the girls I've talked to, the most handsome member of the Legion of Skanks. But that's like saying the least retarded person at Bellevue. 
And I'm glad. Nice suit, Dave, too. Nice fit. Looks like you're halfway through the incredible shrinking man. That was, uh, would you send Amy Schumer in for measurements? <laughs> oh, relax. <laughs> and, and of course, uh, Mike Vecchione. That was very funny, very funny. But thank, thanks for the DMs. You know what I mean. And uh, Vecchione with a name like that, like your grandma didn't call Brazil nuts nigger toes. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Big J. Here he is, the man of the uh, minute. Uh, Big J, um, saying Big J, though, it's so obvious. It's like saying dumb rich. <laughs> we know you're big. Jay's, uh, you cut your hair. Looks great. You donated your ponytail to douches. Uh, oh, fuck. Thank you. Thank you. I fuck. Oh, did I fuck that up? Now, uh, the cancer kids... For make a wish, you know? What is that? Oh, locks of douche. That's what I meant to say. Thank you. Locks of douche. So some cancer kid can uh, walk around for the next six months of his life like an asshole from the 90s. <laughs> that's it. A sponsor coming in, by the way, for the biker that's not a biker, Hardly Davidson, <laughs> is uh, coming in. Uh, Big J, saw you on Amy's show. That was very nice. You could play Amy Schumer if you put on a blonde wig and lost weight. What is this? A fuck? Everyone loves Amy. Love a guy. I do too. I'm, I'm not kidding. He cut his hair off because it was the uh, power to repel pussy. <laughs> was that it? Uh, yeah, Big J. Uh, I got pictures of him swimming in my pool, and uh, Peter sent out one of those Sea World hate tweets to me <laughs> that he needs more room. I don't know what it. Big J. He, uh, you might have seen, uh, even on this video, he drank and puked one of my $50 bottles of wine in my basement. And if you've seen his act, it's the best thing that's ever come out of his mouth. <laughs> uh, Big J, of course, you saved that comic on the stage, which was great. I read your tweets and everything. You said it's nothing like he's ever seen in a comedy club. So I guess same category as applause. <laughs> that's... Uh, Oh, by the way, DeRosa couldn't make it here tonight. I, I'm very upset about that. Uh, if anyone's eating upstairs and you need a knife, just grab the one he put in my back. That's, um, for a girl to fuck Joe DeRosa, she has to take more shots than a grandmother going to mass in Charleston. Uh, Big J and DeRosa, they look like the before and after shots of Jared from Subway. Uh, Joe DeRosa's career. It's like a family after a tornado, both uh, devastated by losing their homes. Homes. <laughs> Joe DeRosa, it looks like a drawing of an autistic child that he makes in therapy of a guy that tries to fuck his mom. I don't even know what that means, but it's hilarious <laughs> and probably true. DeRosa uh, looks like he was made the same way they turn a vagina into a penis, doesn't he? Some meat kind of turning around thing. DeRosa is a spineless cunt, and uh, the only way he could stand upright is if Bill Burr can keep his erection. Uh, Joe DeRosa stopped being friends with me because, well, he's worried about uh, what his black friends would think. And, of course... Uh, I, I've been trying to say for years that black people don't think. Oh, come on. And of course, Joe DeRosa staying right with his black friends, uh, paying, uh, paying off a lot there in L.A. He's starring in the new movie, uh, Dildo Unchained. So, um, J Jay. Fucking great. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody else, for coming out. That was uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, shit. Aunt, you said it was your first time roasting, not your first time in front of a microphone. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Uh, your next roaster is only here because 